Shanita and Bryant, what we've accomplished here today is no small feat. Your journey began way before you sent out invitations, chose this beautiful venue, and even decided to spend the rest of your lives together. Your journey began the moment you first met. You took the time to learn what makes each other personal, smile, what makes each other laugh, and how to best support them when life is a less than simple. You welcome each other's family, communities, and lifelong friends, and join, and join them together with warmth and enthusiasm. You build a new village. With Sean and Alex, you have worked every day to support this village as it changes and grows. Listen to me, marriage brings hard days, just as they bring beautiful ones. This day is a reminder of what your love has already accomplished and the amazing possibilities of what it can continue to accomplish and overcome in the many, many years ahead of you. I want to, at this particular time, um, share Brian and Shanita's love story, if you will listen. We are here today because of friendship. As much as we are about love and marriage, the long friendship of these two is even represented in the date that has been chosen for their union. August 21st is a special date because it is otherwise known as 821 or 821, as they used to say the number back at Hart, Middle, Hart School in East Orange, New Jersey, where they from where they are from, I'm sorry. 821 was the number of the homeroom that Brian and Shanita shared and were assigned due to their last name beginning with the letter M. They knew each other already, having actually met two years prior in the sixth grade, but it was in this classroom and the four years they shared in homeroom in Clifford, Clifford Scott, Clifford Scott, Clifford J. Scott High School, where they too would see their friendship grow and blossom into something very special as the root of the love of what brings us here today. As a third party spectator in their developing love, now met Shanita in 2010 and Brian in 2017, it was extremely clear that the two of you represent a perfect pairing because each of you complement the other so well. They balance one another, and while each of them are tremendous individuals, I must say, and on their own together, they are even better. And being better together as a team, a unit, a partner in crime, is what has been many years in the making of an ultimately, has ultimately led us to being here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of those they love the most. They enrich each other's lives and the lives of each of us and there isn't one single event that is a good encapsulation of what they mean to me and my beautiful wife, to each other and to all of us. But what I do know is that both of them care deeply and passionately for one another. They protect each other, they make each other laugh, and think outside themselves. But the magically, but time magically seemed to both fly and slow down 
there together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always appreciated. Now they are time for their wedding vows now. And Brian and Shanita would like to read their own vows. Please take each other's hand. Shanita, you will state yours first, and then Brian, you will follow. up here hand in hand in front of our friends and family with the same pink roses you bought to my house with Linda probably waiting impatiently in the car the same appetite for quick food the same wit you used to make me laugh in homeroom the same handwriting that convinced me that you were crazy and brilliant or both <laughs> the same gift of gab let me know early that you were destined to both get us out of trouble and work my nerves a similar suit that you wore to watch me cross over the threshold into womanhood, and the same warmth and optimism that can make any situation more tolerable. We knew. Who knew that the short, sassy message I wrote in your yearbook and the marriage pact we made our senior year was actually us creating our destiny, or that almost 20 years later we would both be at a crossroad in our lives and one Facebook message would bring us back to the friends we have been many years before. God knew. Yes. I will trust you beyond reasonable doubt because that's what partners do. I promise to be part of all the memories we'll create in my lifetime with my phone charged and ready to go. Yes. We both have had hard knock moments in our lives, but I promise to help shoulder our challenges for there is nothing we cannot face when we stand together. The life and times of Sean Kenneth have been the most joyful, and I cannot thank you enough for giving me the most precious gift. I promise to nurture your dreams and be your partner in creating our own destiny, La Familia, because through this, your soul shines. We will try to stay out of your hair when your ambitions take you to the basement with a dimly lit, a dimly lit screen and a cold monster creating blueprints. Ice cold. I admire your focus, but it can be a gift and a curse. When the world beats you up, I promise to dust, the dirt, to dust the dirt off your shoulder because that's what partners do. I promise to be your loyal friend and now wife until kingdom come. I promise to continue pretending to be the gangster in the relationship because people can't fathom it being you. I promise to be patient with you when you deviate from the Shanita established Magna Carta because clearly that is the law of the land. And last but most important, we family. And I promise to be the best bonus mom to Alex and partner in parenting with you for the many joyous years to come. This is my sacred vow to you, my equal in all things. Wow, absolutely awesome. amazing. Now, Brian. Yes, sir. Will state his vows to Shanita. Okay, can I get a hand? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, since friendship was what got me in the door, and what kept a light on for me when my boyfriend hours were not my finest, however briefly, I think I should include friendship in everything I hope to be with you and for you. I promise to be the sort of friend that tells you you can do better, and I hope to always be the best option for you. I promise to be the friend whose shoulder you can cry on and only sometimes tell you what to do, but I hope never to be the husband who makes you cry. I promise to be the friend who uplifts you with words after a rough patch, and I hope to be the husband whose actions say more about how much I love you than words can express. I promise to be the friend who reminds you when you are trying to eat well or exercise because you have goals and I support that. But I also want to be the husband that cat calls you when you're walking by in workout tights, whether it's day one or day 500, because don't worry about those goals, you're already dope to me. I promise to be the friend that listens well enough to know the gift you secretly really, really want but are too scared to ask and I hope to be the husband that surprises you with that gift, even though you swore you didn't want anything, even though it doesn't mean you don't really want anything. <laughs> I promise to always be the friend you can't have on speakerphone or bring anywhere without reading the room to me, and I hope to be the husband that compliments you in every room and space we find ourselves in so you never feel alone. 
I promise to always be the friend that you can be yourself with and the one you don't have to put a face on for, but I want to be the husband that loves whatever face you show. And if you always let me count you as my best friend, I promise I will never stop trying to be the husband to you that Patricia, Ernie, and your grandmother prayed for you to have. I will never stop trying to be the husband that you thought of when you listened to all those love songs. I will never stop trying to be the life partner you wanted when you saw yourself leveling up through the years and wanted that same energy mirrored back in your mate. I will build monuments to my love to you that our great-grandchildren will stand in awe of at family day. My life will be a testimony to you as my wife and best friend. I will wake up every day with something to prove to you, and I will go to sleep every night wondering how I can be better. I will shield you from the tempest that can be my life and the world as a whole. I will hold up the umbrella when only you can fit under it and tell you it's not even raining that hard. I will shovel the snow you're too tired to lift and tell you it's not even that cold out there. I will jump out of bed with a frying pan and a company t-shirt at a place I never really worked at and tell you it wasn't even that scary and there's nothing downstairs. I will underwrite the dreams you fear are too big to share. I will co-author our deepest unspoken wishes that only last as long as a breath takes to travel to a birthday candle. I will give life to your daydreams and shape to your hopes and a musical score to the song of the rest of your life. I will clasp my hands next to yours and say the prayers that you think are too powerful for words, and I will trust God knows my heart as he does yours. I will live for you in all ways possible. My best wins and my perfect days and my small triumphs will make trophies and assets and memories that will light our home in your heart for the rest of our days. And when we are gone from this earth and our branch on the family tree is so high up that anybody that knew us is no longer here either, people that didn't know us will know of us. They will talk about how much I must have loved you and what kind of powerful hold you must have had on me and how wonderful you must have been to have deserved everything I strive so hard to be with you and for you. And they will be right and they won't even know the half of it. And I hope you and everybody listening holds me to every word to it. I love you, Shanita, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and for you. And that's it. That's amazing. I feel Jesus right here. I feel it. That was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Shanita, Patrice Mickens, and Brian Allen Moore. Do you take one another as partners from this day forward as husband, and wife. Please state, we do. We do. Hallelujah. And to everyone here, do you promise to stand by this couple, to remind them of their vows, to act as examples of love and family? Please state, we do. We do. I would like to, at this particular time in the ceremony, wish them Give them well wishes um, to Brian and Shanita. And one of the things that I would like to say in this is that it makes your relationship work well when you take love and prayer and prayer. Listen, continue to date each other, continue to spend time with each other. And one of the things I would like to add in marriage is that it, it's, it's not a bed of roses. It's a difficult process. It's a process. That, but you are God's workmanship. It's not going to be perfect. But what I would like to always do as a reminder to you both is when things get tough in marriage, what they, which they will do, always go back and view this tape again and remember your vows that you stated one to another. It brings strength and encouragement in times when you need them the most. And, and, and it will take trust to know that in your heart you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future holds. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged here today. 
Let us pray. Most holy and righteous God, our Father, you declare in your word to whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We are declaring your grace and mercy, your miracles of love, that it would shine fresh upon this marriage each day. And I declare, God, that as you continue and as you make this process possible, that they will grow stronger and stronger in love and in unity. I declare, God, that a threefold cord is not easily broken. I declare you and Shanita and Brian, the three of you all together, it will not be broken. I declare and decree that this marriage will last to death do them apart. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Got the rings in. Yes, we do, yes. Okay. Shanita and Brian have chosen these rings to represent the unbreakable circle of life and love. Please place them on each other's ring finger and repeat after me. I, I, I give you this ring, give you this ring to remind you of this day. To remind you of this day. When in front of our closest community, when in front of our closest community, we vowed that our love can overcome all things. We vow that our love can overcome all things. That our love unites. That our love unites. Inspires and celebrates. Inspires and celebrates. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. This is a great part of the ceremony. Shanita and Brian, it is with such joy that I now send you out into the world to spread the beautiful light that you share with those around you. By the power vested in me, I am so pleased to present to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Moore, that you may seal this union with a kiss. Seal it now, seal it, seal it, seal it, seal it, that's right. <laughs> seal it, seal it. Now the couple will turn and wave. <laughs> Hello everyone. I am Alfred Mickens, the proud father of Shanita Mickens. I have been waiting with anticipation for this very moment. Although this is not how I envisioned it, nevertheless, I am ecstatic about being here. Although it is overwhelming to give your daughter away, it is satisfying to know that she is marrying one of the greatest men I've ever met. And if I could choose someone to wed, Brian would be my choice. I am truly confident that Brian will take very good care of my daughter. Brian has been her dear friend for years now, and since day one, my impression of him has not changed once. Thank you for treating my daughter like gold. Regardless of what happens in your lives, I know in my heart that you are the perfect match. I could not be happier for my daughter and the future her and Brian have created for themselves. May the future bring you happiness, wisdom, and most of all, closer together so that the bond of love is never ever broken, but filled with joy, admiration, and respect for each other. So today, your friends and family surround you you begin something new and marvelous. Remember your promises, keep them all in your heart, and you will have that sense of joy and wonder that exceeds all you can ever imagine. With all my heart, I offer my congratulations and warmest wishes and blessings as you begin the latest adventure life has to offer.